Hi guys, it's me. I'm doing a tutorial on the eight petal flower of Cynthia Noyles. Um, she uh, allowed me to, or gave permission for me to do the tutorial for you guys so that you can see the beauty of this really easy, easy flower. Uh, you'll, the materials you'll need, uh, cotton yarn or yarn of your choice in two contrasting colors a size H hook and um, a tapestry needle. So here we go. You're going to start it off. You can do the magic loop or you can chain five and slip stitch to form a ring. So I'm going to try this magic loop. I'm not real good with this thing right here, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to chain two. Okay, chain two. And then you're going to do three double crochets together. So it's going to be go through two. You have two loops on the hoop. Yarn over. Go through the loop. You have four loops on the hook. Go through two. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through the loop. You have five loops on the hook, you go through two. You have four loops on the hook, and you go through all four. You've made your first three double crochet together. Okay, now you're going to chain two. And then you're going to do another three double crochet together. So you're going to wrap the yarn over, insert in the loop, go through two, wrap the yarn over, go through the loop, go through two, wrap the yarn over, go through the loop, and go through two. And you should have four loops on the hook. Go through all four, chain two. You're going to do this eight times. You're going to do it eight times, okay? We'll go with you some more. And wrap the yarn over, go through, pull through two, wrap the yarn over. You have four, you pull through two. Now you have three. Wrap the yarn over, pull up a loop, you go through two, and you have four loops on the hook. You go through all four. And chain two. Okay, do it one more time. Make sure we're all together. You wrap the yarn over, pull up the loop, go through two, wrap the yarn over, go through the space. You have four loops on the hook, go through two, now you have three. You wrap the yarn over, through the loop. Go through two. And then you have four loops on the hook. You pull through all four and chain two. Remember to do this eight times and I will see you at the end. All right, now I'm at the last one. And wrap the yarn over. Pull to two. Wrap the yarn over, pull through two. Wrap the yarn over and pull through two. Have four loops on. I'm gonna pull through all four. Chain two. All right, now I'm gonna join it to the top of the very first stitch. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull it tight. If you did the magic loop, you could pull it tight. So you make that hole smaller, like this. Now you're going to add your contrasting color. And this is how I add my contrasting color. I'm going to use pink, because I'm making this little flower for that pink and brown uh, baby dress that I made. So you take your yarn, this 
just fold it over, leave a little toe on there, and just pull it through that last stitch that you just made, pull it tight. That's how I add mine. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Now we're going to start the second part. Okay. Now, um, now what we're going to do is chain three. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain two space. Okay, I'm going to chain three. And then triple crochet five times. I'm going to have five cr triple crochet in that same space, in this space right here. So I slip stitch, and in that same space, I'm going to do five triple crochet. It's one. And that's two. And that's three. And let's wrap the yarn over twice. Insert in the same space. Go through two. Go through two. Good. So that's one, two, three. That's four. And wrap the yarn over twice. Go through that same space. Go through that. Two, go through two, go through two, and that's five. One, two, three, four, five, and that's the chain three. And then you're also going to also going to chain three on that fifth one, so you just complete it the fifth triple so you're going to chain three and then you're going to slip stitch into the same space like so and one petal is made okay and you're going to slip stitch into the next space you guys see okay slip stitch into the next chain two space chain three and now do three, I'm sorry, five, triple crochet, one, oops, into the same stitch. And basically this is what you do all the way around. I hope you guys can see this, I do apologize. And it was two. This is three. And this is four. And this is five. And I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to slip stitch into the same spot. And there's your second petal. So it should start to look like this. Okay, so I'm going to do one more with you. You're going to slip stitch into this space. That's the next chain two space right, right there, right here. So I'm going to slip stitch into that cha chain two space and then chain three. And then I'm going to do five triple crochets into the same space. Oops, sorry about that. Three, four. 
and five. Okay, I'm gonna chain three and slip stitch into the same space. I've completed three petals of my flower. The Cynthia Noel's cool flower. All right, I'll see you guys here at the end. All right, we're at the last part. So you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. You're going to chain three. You're going to do five triple crochets in that chain two space. makes five triples. You're going to chain three. You're going to slip stitch into the same space. Pull tight. You're going to join the first chain two space that, uh, first chain space that you made. This eliminates the gap in between the uh, flower. And you're going to Bind off. And here you go. Should be your eight petal flower. <laughs> Yours should look just as fabulous as mine. As this one. Or this one. Ta -da! These are really pretty. Thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate you letting me do this tutorial for you. I hope I've done you justice. And um, I hope everybody that watches it uh, enjoys it because it's really, really a simple eight petal flower courtesy of your girl, Cynthia Noel. Thank you guys for watching. You have a great day. I also wanted to show you guys, remember this cute little dress? I finally finished it. I put stuff off all the time, but this eight petal flower, I made this tonight uh, after I made the one that I did for the tutor tutorial and I added the little uh, little flower to it, this uh, little button to it is very pretty in a solid way and this is what the pink one and uh, brown one that I used for the tutorial I ended up adding it to the dress and I add a contrast and color of pink uh, to give it a little bit of pop it looks kind of crooked on here but anyway that's what the eight petal flower is like very cute. You guys should definitely try it. And thanks again, Cynthia. Appreciate ya. <laughs>